What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a cool little video about this app that I recently started really using. Um, I had downloaded it a while back when I had my older computer and it didn't work. Like, it didn't really want to work at all. But I tried it again and now it's working. So I'm going to walk you through of how to uh, set it up, get it going. And the app I'm referring to is called Super Display. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just give me a second. So when you first open it up on your tablet, it's going to look like this. You have to have a Windows 10 device or this will not work. Um, this tablet is a on brand tablet, 10 inch tablet. Um, so it's not the highest end tablet in the world at all. It cost me less than $100. And um, you download this app. You can use it free for three days. After that, it's $9.99, which isn't too bad. Um, it's been working really good for me so far. So I'm going to send it over to my um, desktop and show you where you can get the driver for it on for your computer. Okay, so here I am on Google. And I'm going to just look up Super Display. And then you can just hit Enter. And then you're just going to want to go to superdisplay.app. You can kind of read over exactly, you know, what all it does. Um, second monitor, turn your Android device into a portable USB display for Windows 10 PC. Duplicate or extend your screen simply by pl plugging in. So that's one of the main problems I had, duplicate. I wasn't able to extend the display, but now I'm able to extend it. So pressure sensitivity, turn your Android into a graphics tablet when you use apps like Adobe Photoshop through it. Super Display supports pressure sensitive styluses like the S Pen, etc. I do have the Sonar Pen for my device, but it doesn't have the compatibility with the app itself, so I lose that pressure sensitivity when I use it. But I can still use a stylus though. And then you can get it on Google Play and then install the driver. So you would just simply click this to install the driver. And then once it installs, you open it up. Or once it downloads, you open it up and then finish installing it and everything. I'm not going to go into those details about it because it's pretty straightforward if you've installed a program before. Okay, so when you have it installed on your computer and also on your tablet and you have ran, you know, opened up the driver on your computer for the first time, you can just like exit that out and then connect it via USB to your device. You're going to want to enable USB debugging on your device. Sometimes it'll automatically prompt you to allow it or other times you're going to have to Google how to turn on USB debugging for your specific device and then do that and then try completely closing out the app, reopening it, plugging in the cable while the app is open and then letting it auto detect and everything from there. So mine says it's connected. So I simply tap and then it brings up and extends my display. There it goes. <laughs> so it has extended my desktop and I can see my like toolbar down here. It's not going to bring up anything on the screen right now unless I click and drag things over. Let me do that and then I'll, I'll click over and drag. I have Medibang open. Now I'll simply drag it over to the device, like so. And then I can whoops, minimize it, maximize it. It operates just like it's my computer. So all of the functionality is there. Um, I can draw directly on this. So let's hit brush and just, like, you know, it lets me draw on it. And this is using Medibang Paint. So you don't have to have Photoshop. You can use a free program. You can use Krita. Uh, what's, what's some of the free ones? I can't think off the top of my head right now. But you also can use Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop, um, Illustrator. Any program you can run off your computer, you can use with this app. Because it's running off of your computer. This is just simply a display. But quite honestly, I've been playing with it and stuff today. And I started drawing this boat and everything. And it's been awesome so far. So like like I said, with the um, sonar pen, I did lose the, that pressure sensitivity 
capability there, but I'm able to use Medibang, which is a program I prefer. You do what you can with it. And you can simulate pressure sensitivity just by picking the right brush. So if I select this pen, this pen sharp on here, how it automatically um, fades in and out the each end of the, the stroke. So when you draw a stroke, it'll automatically kind of look like there was a pressure sensitivity going on there when there wasn't. So that's how I made um, the stuff for the hair and everything. Let me pull up. Okay, you can see there how I simulated the like pressure lines and everything by making them thinner and thicker in some areas. Wait, I hope this video was helpful and let me know if you've tried this app and if you really, what you think of it. I do recommend having a decent computer to run it. My laptop that I'm currently using has 12 gigabytes RAM. It's awesome. It works great for me for whatever I'm doing. I could stream all that fun stuff off of it. Um, and it works really well with this app as uh, at the same time, it doesn't lag unless I'm trying to do too many things on my computer at once. But <laughs> just running like OBS and Medibang on it, you know, streaming art, it works great. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe for more videos to come. Bye.